Welcome back to Master Your Ash. I'm your host, Michael Prisdale, and today I will be smoking the Arturo Fuente 858 Sun Grown. And I'm gonna take this out of its cellophane to properly demonstrate, because this cigar is a beauty. And we can look and see the cellophane is almost as dark as the desk. <laughs> Got a little cedar, along with the famous slash infamous 858 Black. Oop. I lost my, I lost my little wrapper. The famous Black 858 Ribbon. And there we go. Alrighty, so this is the Arturo Fuente 858 Sun Grown. And this is a beautiful Dominican Republic sun-grown cigar. The wrapper on the cigar is an Ecuadorian sun-grown, so that is the one feature of the blend that is slightly different. And these were originally released 22 years ago, in October of 2000. Now we are 22 years into the 858 being a staple. And the 858, shares its name with the actual proportions of the cigar, of the cigar, of the cigar. So this is going to be a six, six and a quarter by 47 ring gauge, aptly named the 858 in size for the Vitola. And these are touted as one of the best of the original Fuente Grand Reserve lines. This particular one I've had since about 2014, I believe it was. So this has been in the humidor, my personal one, for about eight years. And it's one of two that are remaining <laughs> from the original box of 20 that I bought, or I believe 25. $7.25 a stick, MSRP, if you can find them. <laughs> and that's kind of the key is availability. Something that is readily available now into the market, Denizen Rum. So Denizen Rum, this, had, this was first presented to me and I was first exposed to it back when I believe that they only had two expressions. Now they have three. They have a three-year white, which is, or three-year white light rum, which is lightly aged and then kind of filtered out of its color like most light rums, most light rums are aged. They also have these two products, the Merchant's Reserve 8-Year and this Vatted 100. So the Vatted 100, this is a blend of rums. It's 80% dark Guianan rum and 20% rum agricole from Martinique. So a beautiful blend of rums, 100 proof, that's why it's called the Vatted 100 because it's blended in these humongous vats of the 80% and 20%. The Merchant's Reserve 8-Year, this is going to be 80% plumber-style Jamaican rum, along with 20% rum grande aroma, which is a particular style from Martinique as well. So the same place that does your traditional rum agricoles, they also do the rum, R-H-U-M, de aroma. And that is kind of a geographically protected uh, thing, just like rum agricole, essentially. So you can just see from Comparison's sake, this is an eight-year rum. This is a blend of rums. Well, both are a blend of rums, but this is an eight-year blend of rums. This is a vatted blend of rums. What's plumber? plumber style is just a particular distilling style. So there are a lot of terminology in rum making, especially when you get into the Jamaican style rums, when you get into more of the funky ones like muck, dunder, plumber style, what it essentially all boils down to is the particular fermentation and distilling style that you're utilizing when you make the rum. So, let's light up this 858 Sun Grown. For those of you that have been smoking Fuente cigars for a while, you know that these were very, very difficult to get your hands on for a long time in the mid-2000s. Hmm. 
Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. It is such an amazing shape and size. It's, it's that Lonsdale format that I particularly love that I just think is like one of the perfect sizes of cigars. It's very classy, very luxurious. You get a lot of wrapper notes, which is awesome, especially when you've gone and so sought out an 858 Sun Grown because you're, you have 858 Naturals in that Dominican style Cameroon wrapper. Then you have 858 Maduros. And those are fairly readily available to this day. You also have like the King and the Queen Tees and the Rosado Sun Growns, and those are slight variations. But these 858 Sun Growns, these things age beautifully. Another kind of point to the uh, Fuente in more of the age selection. I brought in the Anejo Shark. We had the Anejo Shark on the channel in uh, the last couple of months. The Anejo Shark, the ones that I have that are like 12, 14 years old, they kind of, the, the actual cigar bunching where the wrapper is got kind of knotted at the top and I almost had to like use a plunger in order to get the proper amount of smoke volume. With the, with the actual 858 Sun Grown, I mean the draw on it is just beautiful. I wrote down some tasting notes. First thing that you're presented with with the 858 Sun Grown, some really, really nice cedar. And then this beautiful sweetness, uh, almost like a molasses style sweetness, some really, really nice cinnamon notes and overall just spice notes. Kind of like a pumpernickel bread too. And then as you move from the first third into the second third, it picks up the sweetness and it transitions into more of a maple syrup kind of sweetness. And that's kind of where the rums are gonna come into play. So I'm gonna start with the eight year Merchant's Reserve and just kind of give some overall tasting notes. A lot of fresh banana off the aroma. Maybe even some slight mango. Mm. Mm. And definitely that, that grand aroma rum coming from Martinique, it, it adds such a fun dimension in the overall aromas of the rum. Because when you taste it, the rum is very succinct with the aroma that you get off of it on your palate. So the aroma with that nice banana, nice citrus, really, really sweet molasses, that's also what you taste. Let's go to the cigar. Pairs up really, really well with all the nice cedar notes and the light pepper spice that you get off this Ecuadorian Sun Grown. Habano, really nice. And one of the reasons why I wanted to bring the 858 back into the fold, number one, it's been in my humidor for a while and I've been looking for an excuse to smoke it. <laughs> number two, because of the fact that I've smoked a lot of Ecuadorian Habano wrapper cigars. And it's something that I always mention whenever I smoke one I feel like, and I just hear myself <laughs> doing edits or going through the motions of, uh, of putting out these videos and I'm like, man, I really have smoked a lot of Ecuadorian Sun Growns. But I've said before, I'll say again, if I was creating a cigar blend right now, I would really like to make one with an Ecuadorian Sun Grown or some sort of Ecuadorian Habano or Habano just in general, right? Most commonly from Ecuador that I've seen. And the Wildfires, the um, Oliva 135th, a lot of the cigars that I've smoked that have Habano wrappers to them there are cigars that have come before them, utilizing Ecuadorian Sun Grown Habano, utilizing Habano from another place. I mentioned Willie Herrera with the Herrera Esteli Habano, uh, Toro Fuente, 858 Sun Grown Habano. I mean, these, these cigars are, are heralded and beloved for a very specific reason. It's because that Habano is such a great rapper. Mm. 
So the Vatib 100, for those out there that are, that are unfamiliar with Guiana Rum, Guiana Rum, there's a couple of brands that come to mind. Dos Madeiras, they have a five by three and a five by five that's really good that I wanna have on the channel. Uh, those receive extra aging from Sherry Cask and they're very, very well, uh, well loved rums that are out there. The Denizen with the 80% of that Guiana dark rum mixed with the rum agricole from Martinique, it's just, it's so well balanced. And that's one of the things that I really enjoy with good sipping rum is when there's this beautiful balance to it. Because rum can be aged in a whole host of casks. You can have additives in rum. You don't really have to disclose the exact age. That's why, you know, for an eight year rum, you honestly don't have to put in a lot of countries how much of that rum is comprised of eight years. So like in scotch, in order for you to have a 12 year scotch, everything in that bottle has to be a minimum of 12 years old. Whereas with rums, in a lot of countries, you can have a drop of eight year rum in your bottle and call it eight year rum. It makes it very different as far as the laws and legalities when it comes to rum. So it's nice when a brand is capable of achieving really, really good balance. The rum isn't too sweet on the palate, but it just has that nice kind of rich molasses in the vat of 100. It complements on this cigar the maple syrup note so well. And I think that the 858 Sun Grown, if you can find it, is one that you should buy as much of as you possibly can and keep it in your humidor for as long as you can. It's gonna be hard, but try to forget about it because these things age so wonderful. 10 years down the road, eight years down the road, celebrating um, anniversaries, births, whatever it is. Whatever you're celebrating, these are fantastic cigars to break out and they retain so much creaminess, so much rich flavors to them. They're just such fun to smoke. As much as I'm a fan of the Anejo Sharks, as much as I'm a fan of the um, more heralded opuses of the world and uh, some of the other Fuente lines, sometimes going back to just the Grand Reserva line for a cigar like this at $8 MSRP, you could probably still find them to this day for like 10 bucks at most of your uh, cigar shops whenever they're available. They're just phenomenal. They are released once every year still to this day, to my knowledge. So when they are released, get to know your local tobacconist, pick these up at your local brick and mortar for sure. The Denizen Rums, these will run you right around $25 to $30 at the most at your local liquor store. And like I said, three year, eight year, vatted 100. All three slightly different in blending, but all three delicious in their own way. And I'm just so happy that the brand is out with new labeling, new blends, being creative, and just doing the most they can for the rum category. I think that it's a phenomenal pairing. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below as it helps grow the channel, grow the community here at Master Your Ash. Feel free to reach out to us on Instagram, at Master Your Ash, and I will catch you next time for another cigar and spirit review.